it's one of these crazy mornings when it's so calm out here It's like we're anchored in a swimming pool. <laughs> Good morning. Are you having a good day? Mm -hmm. How was your morning? <laughs> I love you. Do you want to see how calm it is outside? It's crazy. Look at us. <laughs> Whoa, look at this baby ducks. Holy so Look at that. Yeah. You can probably see crabs on the on the ocean floor. Yeah. That's insane. It's an anchor chain. Crazy. My anchor's all the way over there. Huh. This is the story of Delos. A sailboat adventurizing around the world for the past 10 years. And now we embark on our greatest adventure of all. Come join us as we take to the high seas and travel the world with the newest member of our crew. If you enjoy Delos videos, please subscribe. It's a great way to support our channel. It's awesome out there. Yeah. But it's hot. It is hot. <laughs> yeah. Already like <laughs> feel like it's eight hundred degrees in the boat. Oh, what do you guys want to do today? We're gonna go on a little spear fishing mission. Catch us some dinner. I will. Bye. Bye. Nugget. Now it's just you and me. On the way over here, we saw a little beach on the other side that I haven't been to yet. So I'm going to try to walk to that one. But it's hot and I hope it's not too far. I think we made it to the other side, Sierra. Wow. Oh, it's really low tide. Look at these mangroves. I love mangroves. I love how mangroves look like. It's just like such a beautiful tree. I think we have a conch casualty. You dead? Oops. No, he's still alive. It's here. Sometimes the conch gets stranded up on the shallows and they kind of don't make it because I think they overheat. And I like to go and save them and put them into water so they survive. Sierra is not so keen on this. Don't sigh, Sierra. This is fun! We're saving punk! <laughs> Mildly amused. Look at it. Conk must be some of the strangest little creatures around here. Just like a massive snail in a, <laughs> in a big shell. Little eye poking out. I don't know how old they can get. I think they can get pretty old. Yeah, they're really cool. And you actually like to eat them. We 
made it back to you. Uh, I think it's time for a little dip. What do you say? You wanna go swimming? So nice. Pretty incredible. I hope it's going good for Brian. I wonder if he's catching anything. Gosh dang it. I went to go take my first shot. Look what happened. We're out of business. Huh. That's a shame, but maybe I'll just swim around for a while and enjoy it. Dinner. Yeah, no, I think, yeah. I think, how about right up there? That sounds good. Yeah, sad times. I know, it's like that time when we have to hang our ball because we're about to go. It's almost hurricane season, we gotta get started yeah. north. <laughs> Are you gonna miss this place, Sierra? Mm, mm. Yeah, because where we're going, you're not going to be able to swim in the water. Oh, there it is. Is that a good height? That's perfect. SVD Los we'll 2020. Nice. That's it. That's it. Done. What are the dinner plans? So we're going to cook the... Um, Hogfish? Hogfish. Hogfish. Hogfish that uh, Bill caught when we were out snorkeling. So um, I should get a fire going. Yeah. Time on our side when I stayed on home. I need you on my fire. I want you to know. This is such a good setup for a beach. Yeah, that's living right there, huh? This is the one. We got everything here. Is it good? Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Ooh. Really good. Do you feel we got something strong? What's happening, Connor? Oh, well, for some reason, we have this weird uh, fascination with yacht clubs, beaches, and extravagant technological uh, evenings. So tonight, we are in Hog Key, and we're setting up for a movie night. This is so crazy, look at this setup. It's just fantastic. <laughs> inspired to do like a really long time lapse and so I bought this really extremely overly large GoPro case that's actually meant for having an external battery 
but my plan is to somehow find a way to mount this, these waterproof fittings on this case, put a power cable through that without the camera getting ruined. And then I have this, which is this power film, film battery pack slash solar panel. So I can literally like set this thing out on the beach with a tripod. And uh, I think normally I can only do like a two or three hour time lapse, but with this baby, I'm hoping to get days. Um, which would be cool. That would be awesome. Yeah. So okay. I'm having fun. <laughs> So I've got the moisture pads in here, so hopefully it won't fog up. It's attached to the tripod, so I just gotta find a cool place to put it. All right, it's all set up. We got the solar panel going in the case, and we'll see if we get anything at all. Did it work? No, it was a complete failure. The, uh, I know it only got like 17 pictures. Wow. And then it turned off, and I think just having it in this case, in the hot sun, it, I think it just overheated and shut off. So I'm trying to build like this white uh, box, so that it'll allow me to leave the door open to keep it vented and also reflect the sun off of it. So it'll kind of be like this. Boom. Go for try two. going on here? Well, there was a squall that rolled through at night and it destroyed my cool little box. Oh and, no. Uh, Is the time lapse okay though? I think it turned out pretty well. Uh, yeah? check, check it out. It's actually pretty cool. How long did it go for? Three days. Oh uh, wow. I think I got like 7,000 photos because I did it uh, 30 seconds intervals. Okay, you ready? Ready. I'll show you my favorite parts here. The two layers of clouds you can see this layer of clouds going this way and then above it there's another layer and then i'll fast forward a little bit until sunset the sun sets and then at night you can see like the anchor lights moving around i think and then coming up here see the lightning oh, like wow. the sky starts to like that and all the boats start to go crazy when the squall rolls through and then sunrise comes and now the clouds are going a different way. It's like really interesting to see how the weather patterns and like this little microclimate work and the knees start shooting overhead and like, I don't know, I think it's so fascinating. I That's love great. time and photography, right? I'm gonna refine my um, procedure and process. And do another one? Yeah. Yep. Cool. Brian, I think the low voltage alarm is going off. But I've been trying to track this problem down. And the problem is we're at minus 140 amp hours. And we used to be able to go to like minus 300 and something amp hours. So. I'm pretty sure we've lost like half of our battery capacity somehow. So I need to troubleshoot that before we set sail. That's no good. This big cable somehow has like a defect in it right there. Do you see that? So you see now it's 3.5 and now it's zero. So this one is doing nothing. This one is doing something for this one is doing nothing. So we literally have four batteries. We're operating on like, I think half capacity, maybe a little bit less. So I wonder what's up with this one. I don't know, I might have to tweak this a little bit. Well, we're back in business. Uh, it turns out that I had two bad connectors, which were basically taking one half of the battery bank out of service. And so we were running the entire boat off of four batteries only, which is amazing. But now we're back up to full capacity and uh, we're able to pull out like 360, 370 amp hours out of a 400 amp hour bank, which is crazy. So all is well. Ahoy Dallas Tribe. 
Did you know that for about the same price as a cup of coffee, you can join our inner circle, which gives you lots of cool benefits like early access to our video releases, private membership to our tribal council where you can chat with the crew, and also invitations for like sailing and diving and crew opportunities and all sorts of cool stuff. Yep. So head to patreon.com forward slash espidelos for more information. And we love you. That's it. Back <laughs> to the show. Oh, is that the first? Um, no, we haven't even started yet. Oh, yeah, to get that out is the first mission. Yep. Actually, the first mission is proper boat work attire. <laughs> so, number one thing headlamp, check. Oh, you've got your headlamp. Check. Let me show you what we're going to get into. We can make a plan. All right, the way the system works is it heats up hot water in a diesel powered boiler and then the circulation pump pushes the hot water through the red tube and then it goes all the way through the boat to these fan heaters which are really just heat exchangers and those suck the heat out of the water that's circulating and then blow it with a small fan into the cabin so we've really got to run the hose all the way through the boat anywhere we're going to put one of these little fan heaters and uh this is probably the biggest part of the project that I'm not looking forward to because it's gonna be a lot of work. This is basically the hose. This is 19 mil or three quarter inch heater hose. And this is what carries the hot water through the boat and then back to the boiler. And so now we need to basically run this from the front of the boat um, to where the boiler is. But uh, I've emptied out everything. Um, Come look up here. That's a huge effort already. Yeah. How old do you reckon some of these cans are? 2017. So right? this, so this, this is, is like leaving South Africa. See, this is what's amazing about the design of Delos. Yeah. It's a dry bilge segmented in waterproof compartments with all water ducted through hoses. And this yep, can yep. can sit in a bilge and come out with no rest. For three years. For three years. That's we we cool. struggle to keep a can looking this nice for like eight months. Because our bilge is not dry. Yeah. So it makes a big difference. That's awesome. So today, what our job is going to be, we have to get through this bulkhead right here. That one. So that'll get us into here. And then we gotta go through. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. And then that'll get us down into here. And then when we're down into here, I'm gonna make use of this duct, this fresh air duct that we don't use, because that goes to where the boiler is mounted. So once we get it to here, then it's pretty easy to run it the rest of the way. than I expected. I know. It just burned right through. It's it a miracle. I mean, my arms are burning. Right? <laughs> so, and I think it's a good fit because it's just enough to get that in there. It, uh, oh, right. That came oh, out that pretty easy. easy. <laughs> yeah. Everything is going easy. So there yeah. it is. There's don't, the plug that us. came out. Yep. So there's all the fiberglass, nice wood on the inside. Also goes to show you have no rot. It's That's perfect good. shape. It's a shame if wow. our bulkheads are rotted. Are you going to help us, Nugs? <laughs> Yeah, she's helping. Are you helping? She's managing. She's a supervisor? What do you think? Heater. <laughs> Lobster. That mm. seems crazy now, but that's really important. Yeah. And now we only have about 20 more to do. Yep. And now we're doing the next phase, which is going to be pulling this heater hose through the boat. So our plan is to utilize this old air duct, which enters. So this is where the heater is installed here in the expansion tank and the controls and everything. We have this air duct that goes down here. It goes through the boat and then it comes out right there. So once we get it to here, then we just need to go into the bilge and then we can run it all the way up forward. Thanks again for the help, Connor. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs>
right, you got my wire? Thank you. Here we go. I can hear it. Okay, there's, there's that. So far, so good. two days of solid bark in the sweltering 100 plus degree temperatures, but we got it and I think it turned out really well. Look at this. So the hoses are laid in here nicely. We put arrows on them so that we can remember how to hook up the fan heater units for the direction of the coolant flow. And it feels really good to have that done. Thank you so much, Connor. Uh, be sure to check out next Friday's episode. It is going to be an awesome one. Today is our 100th day. Isn't that crazy? 100 days you've been out here. Super exciting day. Our friends Seth and Connor have decided to get married. The crew's breaking up, it's Kaza. It's happening. I can't think of it. cry. Oh, I'll say we'll see you in there. Ah, I just tried. It smells like farts. This movie's pretty good. I like where you stopped it too. Look at that thigh. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's a sexy thigh. What is yeah. happening here? <laughs> He's got a camera out. Yeah, right.